Welcome to Wolf Chevrolet. Today we're taking a closer look at some of the interior and exterior features in our 2022 Chevrolet Silverado 1500. This Silverado is featured in a black paint finish and is the LT Trail Boss trim. It includes features such as our 2-inch factory lift, a power tailgate, our black aluminum wheels, a backup camera with adaptive and trailer guidelines, our trailer package with our auto locking rear differential, as well as our trailer brake controller, heated front seats, as well as a heated steering wheel, and much more. Now into the front of the vehicle, we can see that we have a chrome finished door handle. Just beyond our door handle, we have our door locks. On the bottom of the door, we have our outside mirrors that include our blind spot monitor inside them, and that is all the power for them. We have our rear window lock, our powered windows with one touch up and down driver window, and the bottom of the door, we have some additional storage. Moving up to the left hand side of the steering wheel, we have our tow haul mode, as well as all our far drive mode selects. Below that, we have all of our lighting controls, including our in bed lighting and the lighting for our central dash. Moving up, we can see our display cluster. We can see that we have some digital information in the middle. Moving to the left hand side of the steering wheel, we have our cruise settings, as well as our heated steering wheel button. Then on the right hand side of the steering wheel, we have all of our hands free settings. Moving to the center, we have our Chevrolet infotainment system that includes our satellite radio, FM radio, AM radio, our Apple CarPlay and Android Auto as well as our trailering assist, our climate settings on top of it, our backup camera with adaptive and cruise guidelines, as you can see here. Then below, we have some additional controls. So we have our volume button, as well as our display off button. We have all of our tuning, as well as our home and back button, and then our accept button on the other side, if we choose not to use the touchscreen. Below that, we have our dual zone front climate control, as well as our front and rear uh, defroster. Then we have our start stop button just to the left of our climate. We have our heated seats below our climate knob for both our driver and our passenger. Then at the bottom, we have some additional buttons. We have our sensors, our automatic lift gate, hazard lighting, ABS, the button to turn on our 115 and 120 volt plugs, as well as our downhill park assist. Below the buttons, we have our trailer brake controller, a USB, a USB-C. We can see we have a flip open 12 volt plug, as well as our flip open 115 volt in the front of the vehicle. Below, we have some additional storage. We can also see our key here. So we have our locks and unlocks at the top. The bottom contains our remote start, as well as our bed opener, and our alarm system. Then moving back a little bit farther, we have our dual cup holders. We have our center console. We can see on top, we have some additional storage. Inside of it, in the middle, we can see that we have an SD slot, a USB-C, a USB, and an auxiliary, and then some deep storage in the bottom of it. Moving across to our seats, we can see that they are in a black finish and a leather on top, and of course are heated in the front of the vehicle. Then lastly, above our rear view mirror, we have all of our OnStar buttons, our rear check reminder button, our light controls, our sliding third power window in the rear, and lastly, our garage door buttons. Now walking down the side of the vehicle, in front of our door, we can see our Z71 badging for our off-road package. Moving down, we can see that we have our black aluminum rims, as well as our two inch lift. We can see that we have our paint match outside mirrors, as well as our paint match keyless entry door handles for both the front and the rear. In the back of the vehicle, we have our trail bass bodging, as well as our corner steps. We have dual chrome aluminum exhaust, as well as our trailer hitch in the center. We can see that we have our Silverado and LT badging on the back, as well as our backup camera. We can see that we have a one-touch open powered lift gate. In the front and back of the bed, we have our trailer tie-downs, as well as our lighting and our 120-volt plug. 
We also have our spray-on bed liner. Now moving into the rear of the vehicle, we can see once again the chrome door handle, as well as the window control, some additional storage in the bottom of the door. Moving inside in the seats in front of us, we can see that we have our magazine holder, both our driver and our passenger. In the center, we have our dual vents for the rear, as well as a USB-C, a USB, and a 12-volt plug. Just above those, we have two rear cup holders. We can see the seats in the back match the seats in the front in our black leather finish. In the center seat, we have our flip down cup holders for the back. And above it, we have our power sliding third window. And then in the back of the seats, we also do have additional storage. And we can see that we have three seats in the rear. Thank you for joining me for this quick video walk around of the 2022 Chevrolet Silverado 1500. If you enjoyed, please be sure to subscribe for more daily videos, and we hope to see you at Wolf Chevrolet soon.